Hello, this is Ibrahim. This is our group, Wissam, Yahya, Muhammad, and Maher. Well, today I would like to introduce our group design project. Nowadays, we know most of the pets owners want to enjoy the company of their pets. Not all owners have the time and patience to face their pets. So the, uh, this is where IoT comes to the develop a system that can satisfy the pets owner without causing any side effects to the pets. And we call it IoT based pets, a feather system with the machine learning algorithm for pets recognition. Previous and a recent project will be discussed in the review chapter. The project has been designed and uh, released to the market. The way that the pets faders work is to give a fully personalized experience where the pets owner can program the fading schedule, where the food can be divided at specific time and quantity. Previous researches will be taken into, the, into consideration, which will help us to understand and learn from previous experience. Finally, to enhance the system with the most with the most amount of virtues in order to make the pitch owner satisfied, we need to, com to combine all the, uh, the ideas in the previous researches. There are similar problems we need to understand about this project, which is not every pitch owner is available to face their pets, and the reason behind that is the owners are mostly busy with their works or study uh, or studying schedule. Well, generally, pets owner usually underestimate this issue, which is overfilling the food dishes with the very large uh, uh, quantity uh, of food. The aim is to design and develop a smart IoT based pet dog feeder with pet face identification in lab view environment. To to get this aim, five objectives will need to be achieved. This is how to justify the project. First is that the system that will be developed will be cheap in comparison into in the comparison to other uh, feeder system in the market so we can get competitive advantage in the farm of the host leadership second is that it give fit uh, it, it give bit uh, food suppliers in the um, the information and how many bit in the average are in the household and the average level of the bit uh, consumption per household third is the fact that uh, dispensing the right amount of the food for the bit may lead to some advantage some of these advantages are less food wasting, less carbon emission, and healthier bit. There are five purpose methodology which can be seen in this slide. First, deduction of dog and recognition of dogs breed based on machine learning using computer vision system and SVM classifier. Second, weight measurement and allocation of the right amount of food based on the bit breed. Third, dispensing mechanisms for dry food, water, and vitamin. Fourth, log report for food consumption for each dog and lastly integrating the entire system for I, uh, to IoT. I'm going to present the whole uh, VI uh, integration for whole our project. So uh, as we can see here, uh, this, is the talk, uh, this is the token from Blink app. Uh, we can test the Blink uh, app individually, individually and uh, for that we have two buttons here one button and two button for notify and let uh, one of them uh, sends a value in blank and the other one just turns on uh, and off the lid so we can send the value in there and the value will come up uh, here and we can turn on the lid and turn off the lid this is just to make sure that the blank is responding to the lab view now we choose from here the, the image file path and then after we choose from here the image file path we choose also from here, the camera, there is a choice I did here, the cam zero. And after that, uh, we, uh, when, we run the, when we run the project, the camera will start deducting. So for the other part, for the other part here, which is the weight of it, amount of food and the amount of vitamin. Uh, so this is for dispensing the food and the vitamin. And, uh, and also here, uh, it, in this box, it will give us the dog that has been deduct deducted and the class ID of the dog. Later on, later on, I will show in the ID what that means when deducted of the dog and uh, class ID. I'm going to uh, run the program and show. So we choose, as we said, we choose image from the file path, an image we want. And we choose the cam. Then, if we run the, 
if we run the VI right now, it will open the camera. So as we can see here, the dog had been detected as bug. The class ID of the dog is seven. The class ID because here I have ten dogs, so I'm doing them. I'm doing. I'm numbering them from one to ten. And if we do it now, okay, for like we got here notification that the dog weight is being scaled. If we do okay, then it will give, as we can see here, to give us the weight of the uh, of uh, of the pet, and it will give us the amount of food needed to give, and the amount of vitamin, and it will start dispensing the dog food and the vitamin. So here, as we can see, also another notification: the look uh, the look is created. What's that mean? That if we stop here. And then we go to the file here. Then we open the Excel. So what we will find, the time is now 9.56. So we'll go to the last previous slide. It will give us here in 17 that back to give us the date. I'm sorry, this one's not supposed to be like that. It will give us the date, which is 30. September 2020, 9.55, and it will give us the uh, weight in kilogram, the food amount, and the vitamin amount. You can see here, it blink in the phone, and it shows us that the type of this dog here, it's Boodle. To explain the water dispensing and the log report. For the water dispensing, it's not a progress of feeding, so we just keep it aside. The dog might be thirsty multiple times a day, so for that, we put a manual dispensing for the user to dispense some amount of the water to the dog. If the amount of the water is above what inside in our water tank, so for example, if we put around 4,000 ml and we try to serve, it will not serve because our tank capacity is just 3,000. So let's just put 2,400 and we start to serve. So this amount of the water, it's been dispensed to the dog. After dispensing, it will be shown in the GUI in the app blank, um, which will be explained later. Uh, now I'm going to explain about the, if, if our water level is in the, it's, it's low. Uh, so let's say if we dispense 400 milli, then the water in our tank will be less than 10%. Then if the user try to, to dispense again to the dog, it's going to show dispense again. It's going to show the message the tank is low, so it cannot serve, and it will not be allow the the system to serve any more water to the dog.